Hi there YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Auntie A's Kitchen, simple and delicious food cooked and prepared in South Korea. You are in for a treat today. I have just eaten lunch. It was magnificent. It was delicious. It was incredible. It was fantastic. Wow. Today we're going to be making sun-dried tomato zucchini ravioli. Now a bit of a mouthful there, so let me break it down. We're going to be making a sun-dried tomato sauce with basil and just that in itself the combination of the basil and the tomato is just oh your senses will go on fire uh, you can put in spice if you want i didn't put any spice in i just like the natural flavors as they were then we're going to be making a zucchini ravioli and inside we're going to be doing garlic with spinach and ricotta cheese all mixed up so at the end, you have a combination of a little pocket of zucchini um, with all the cheese and the spinach and the garlic surrounded by the sun-dried tomato sauce. Perfection. Don't take my word for it. You cook it yourself and then let me know. So let's look at the ingredients and get cooking. Okay, I'm really excited to share with you today's ingredients. So depending on where you're from, either zucchini or courgette, in England we call them courgette. Inside of our ravioli, I'm going to be putting some onions and spinach, I'll cook that up first with garlic, and I will mix that with the ricotta and the egg, and that will be my filling. Um, really delicious, and you'll see as we make that. I'm gonna make my own tomato sauce on top, um, I'm just going to mix up some leftover sun-dried tomatoes with some tomato puree with water and I will cook up some onions and garlic to make the sauce and I will mix in some basil. Now if you have fresh basil, use fresh basil, but when it's out of season in Korea I will freeze it um, and then just pull it straight out of the freezer. Since no one's looking at it, so to speak, it doesn't matter about the presentation, but the taste will be spot on. And the smell in my apartment right now is fantastic from this basil. I'll season it with salt and pepper and some Parmesan cheese over the top. Some people will put mozzarella on top, but I find that quite heavy because we already have a lot of cheese inside. So let's get cooking. Put some oil into our pan throw in some of my onion. I'm only using half of my onion because the other half will go in the garlic sauce. A whole load of my garlic. So my garlic and onion. Into here I'm going to throw in my spinach straight away. It looks like a lot of spinach but it does wilt down a lot. Let's season it. Salt and pepper. Oh, the smell is divine. Okay, got good color. Stop cooking that now. Now you'll notice in a lot of cooking, I will use a wok. And the simple reason for that is it's just high and it stops things from splashing towards the side. Okay, let's put the rest of our onions. Maybe a third with my spinach and now two thirds with our sauce. Garlic. Okay, once that starts to cook, let's add my sun-dried tomatoes. Again, I'm just going to cut these bits up. I'm going to add a generous spoon of tomato paste and some water. So I've added some water, tomato puree and the rest of my sun-dried tomatoes. Now season. A little bit of salt. Cut up my basil into here. So my sauce is ready. Let's leave that, turn the heat off now and prepare the ricotta. So I have my spinach, my onions and my garlic. Into here I'm going to put my ricotta cheese. I'm just using one tub and this is, you can get this Home Plus and Emart. If you've not had ricotta before, it's kind of like a cream cheese. In fact, I reckon you could probably use a cream cheese if you couldn't get ricotta. Into here I'm going to add my beaten egg. And then I'm going to mix all of this up. Okay, next we're going to prepare our zucchini. So cut off the ends. Then with a potato peeler, simply hold and slide. Like so, you're going to get strips. Be patient. Now, 
The secret here is push down quite hard and that way you'll get quite thick bits. Let's do the other side. Now once I get down to the middle bit here, I put this aside and I will use this for another dish. Some of your strips like this. Let's do two, number three there, one, two, three, some of my, a dollop of my cheese with the spinach inside then fold over like so it's a little fiddly from one two oh, I've put too much in that one that's okay and then make sure it's seamed down in your pan <laughs> Little pockets of deliciousness. So here we have our zucchini ravioli. And just drizzle that over the top. It's quite a rich, yummy tomato sauce. Sprinkle our cheese. And this goes into the oven now for 25 to 30 minutes while I wash up and then we will have a look at it once it comes out of the oven. So here we have ravioli out of the oven. Let's get it plated up. Got the tomato, the cream cheese, the spinach. You'd think you were eating pasta, but you're not, you're eating vegetable. Now, a lot of recipes online will use tomato sauce, but I highly recommend you use dried tomatoes. It has a stronger flavor, and I think it complements the cheese and the spinach with the garlic a lot better than just a plain tomato sauce. So as you cut in, and then you can see in here the cream cheese with the spinach, just like that. that. Sun-dried tomato zucchini which you think you're eating pasta and the ricotta spinach and garlic i'm not vegetarian i love eating meat but this just as it is absolutely delicious every mouthful is just a delight sun-dried tomato ravioli filled with ricotta cheese spinach and garlic and let me tell you it was just mouth-watering with every bite incredible um, healthy because there's no pasta, we're using the zucchini um, as the ravioli um, pasta. Very quick to make, uh, your preparation time maybe 10 minutes, in the oven 30 minutes and just healthy uh, for those who are vegetarian, the perfect lunch or dinner um, to entertain with friends, they'll be amazed and it looks spectacular, tastes spectacular.